Hi and welcome to our Stimpod Quick Start Guide for AMG. This video will demonstrate how to set up NMT monitoring on a patient using Acceleromyography with the Stimpod. You are welcome to follow along using our printed Stimpod Quick Start Guide for AMG. Setup Requirements You will require the following. Your Stimpod NMS450X stimulator. An NMT monitoring cable AMG. Standard ECG electrodes, or the custom Zavin NMBA electrode. Start off by checking that the batteries have been correctly inserted, and switch on the Stimpod. An insert cable screen prompt will appear. The Stimpod is now ready to have an NMT monitoring cable connected. Connect the NMT monitoring cable AMG to the Stimpod. An open circuit detected screen prompt will appear. When the LED on the accelerometer changes from red to blue, it confirms that the accelerometer has passed its verification test. The Stimpod is now ready to have the monitoring cable connected to the stimulation electrodes. Properly clean the patient's skin area before attaching the stimulation electrodes. Securely attach the stimulation electrodes to the patient's arm. The cathode, or negative black electrode, is placed on the most superficial aspect of the ulnar nerve. This is usually located 1 cm proximal to the wrist crease on the radial side of flexor carpi ulnaris. The anode, or positive red electrode, is placed proximally on the volar forearm. The distance between the two electrodes should be a minimum of 2 to 3 cm. Now secure the stimulation clips to the electrodes. Ensure that you have a proper connection onto the electrode studs. An AMG indicator will appear on the stim pod. Attach the accelerometer to the thumb, ensuring that the thumb still has free movement and is not interfered with by the cable end or the strap. Note that due to the three-dimensional technology in the stim pod, there is no need for calibration. You can now proceed with NMT monitoring. If your patient is anesthetized or sedated, but not paralyzed yet, you can first determine the supramaximal current with SMC mode. If your patient is already paralyzed, manually adjust your current. Once you've completed either of these options, you can continue to manually monitor your patient. Option A, Supermaximal Current Setup. Use the mode button to change the stimulation mode to SMC mode. Press play to initiate the supermaximal current. It is very important to make sure that your patient is anesthetized at this point, but not paralyzed yet. The Stimpod will now confirm your electrode placement and determine the optimal current for your setup. At the end of the sequence, the current will be set at the determined supermaximal current. The Stimpod will prompt you to continue monitoring in auto mode. Use the scroll wheel to select no and press the enter button to confirm. Option B, manual current setup. Use the mode button to select the TOF mode. Manually adjust the current using the adjustment wheel and press enter to confirm your choice. You can now continue to manually monitor your patient. Press the play button to initiate a single TOF sequence. Press and hold the play button for 2 seconds to initiate a repeat TOF stimulation while you continue to titrate the NMBA to achieve your TOF goal. Thank you for watching our quick start guide for AMG. For further details on our products or NMT monitoring, please visit our website at www.zavin.com.